Very nicely done. Some lawmakers and computer scientists are concerned about the growing dangers of digitally altered video and audio. This fake video created from clips of Saturday Night Live shows how advances in artificial intelligence can make anyone from Hillary Clinton to Vladimir Putin appear to say or do almost anything. And we told you about this on Friday, about a recent study that found false information on Twitter reached 1,500 people six times faster than the truth. Tony DeCoppel is here with a new effort to separate fact from fiction. Tony, good morning, and you are all real. Uh, I am real for now, for now uh, yes. but imagine this, a world leader <laughs> appearing on video to give a speech that never actually occurred. Computer-generated imagery has made this more possible than ever, and while the technology does have legitimate uses, experts are afraid it could sow chaos or even war. Good evening, America. Alec Baldwin is to some a perfect stand-in for Donald Trump. China, China. But take a look at this. That's President Trump's real face on the right, digitally stamped onto Baldwin's performance. Testing, <laughs> testing. It's part of a wave of doctored audio and video now spreading online. The idea that someone could put a, another person's face on an individual's body that would be like a home run for anyone who wants to interfere in a political process. Virginia Senator Mark Warner believes manipulated video the investigation is ongoing. could be a game changer in global politics. This is now going to be the new reality, surely by 2020, but potentially even as early as this year. This is going so well. The anonymous maker of the Trump video has made similar videos of Hillary Clinton <laughs> and Vladimir Putin. In a message to CBS News, he said he does it for fun. And though he sees the potential for fake news, he adds, people will have to adapt as the tech is here to stay. Are we so, ready? No, we are absolutely not ready for this. We are absolutely not ready for it. On so many different levels, we're not ready for it. Hani Fareed runs a lab at Dartmouth College aimed at exposing digital fakes. I want to replace your face with Nicolas Cage's. For starters, we asked him to make one. And why Nick Cage? Just because the internet Just loves? Just because it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> no other reason. Already you can see he's identifiable in the first frame, right? So I'm going to go ahead and play it. They're on a mobile device. You can look at that all day long, and that I tell you is a pretty compelling fake. The method, recently published online by an anonymous developer, is one of several that Farid is tracking. This program can change facial expressions in real time, and this Adobe program can create new audio from text. I separated from my mother. Right out of the gate, that's terrifying. I mean, that is just terrifying. And now I can create the president of the United States saying just about anything I want. Adobe calls this an early stage research project. And while the company acknowledges the potential for objectionable use, it believes the positive impact of technology will always overshadow the negative. All these methods have legitimate uses in digital video and design. But Fareed worries they'll be weaponized too. I think the nightmare situation is a fake video of a politician saying, I've launched nuclear weapons against the country. The other country reacts within minutes, seconds, and we have a global nuclear war. His lab is developing tools to quickly identify fakes. So what you have here is an undoctored image, and, and a, even pulse, yep. doctored and image. Video. But Fareed suspects this is just the beginning of a much longer struggle. We have a fake news phenomenon that is not going away. And so add to that fake images, fake audio, fake uh, video, and you have an explosion of what I would call an information war. There's no Democrat or Republican that would be safe from this kind of manipulation. But boy, oh boy, we have as a country to get our act together. Senator Warner is asking the major tech companies to work with Congress to rein in false news and now also false video. Now, we reached out to a number of tech companies for comment, heard back from Reddit and Facebook. Both companies are aware of this false video phenomena and are looking for ways to regulate it. Now, it's not perfect, but imagine where it's going to be in a year, in two yeah. years, in five years. And, and imagine what it does to things that are genuine. It yeah. undermines the credibility of what is real. No, it's scary just looking at it in, in its infancy. I can't imagine what happens when they really get good at it. Because right now, Tony, it looks pretty good. Well, yeah. maybe it'll force us all to be a little more on our toes and not accept everything.